and welcome to the channel in the blue corner we have the xtool d1 pro and in the red corner we have the xtool d1 pro stick around to find out my issues for today i'm going to be talking about the xtool d1 pro laser the engraving and cutting machine um, i've been recently having some issues i just want to um, let you know what i found and the stages I'm at currently, and I think this will apply to a lot of the others because there's not many videos around actually talking about this. So, um, as you can see on the screen, this is what I was sent to check. I'd already checked most of these anyway, but I'll quickly go through these and show you what the problem was in the end and how we're dealing with it. So my laser was engraving and it started to die down. Um, it started losing power and then it just stopped engraving anymore the blue light was still coming out the end um it was going through the motions i had no errors coming up um all the lights were correct and on and um i was just getting no power through the module so i have the 10 watt module here as you can see with the laser assist attachment on so i checked this over it was a little bit grubby a little bit dirty so i'll give it a clean um, but as it turns out, this was not the issue. But in order to do that, as you can see um, here, it says check protective lens um, for burning, um, debris, anything like that to see if it's uh, clogged up, see if you're having any issues. And in order to do that, first put your Allen key that comes with the kit in there. You can loosen that off slightly and then you can slide this straight off. Then there's two more, one here, one here. That's for the cover. Really easy to do. Don't be, don't be worried if you haven't done this yet. This gets done on a daily basis when you're using the machine quite often. And oh, a little bit more there. And it should slide off. Okay, so that's the cover slid off. Now you can see here the actual laser lens. This is just a cap on top. You can replace these. I think they're about anywhere between 10 and 15 euros. I'd have to have a look myself. That's a little bit tight on there. Okay. So I'm just going to screw that. As you can see, uh, maybe the camera won't pick it up, but this lens is quite clean. It's been cleaned. And I've cleaned around the edges so I didn't have any issues there when I was checking so you can screw that on I'll just do it finger tight and then you can put it back together but I'll leave it to one side for now so my issue after checking that came with the main board here so we've Check the uh, inner lens here, check the air nozzles and that, that was fine as well, that's an easy check. Firmware, everything was up to date. Now I got to this point here. Um, as you can see, check the voltage re readings. So I had to get my multimeter out and start doing some checks. Now, as you can see here, it tells you exactly where to check. You've got your power input here, you should be getting 24 volts. Plus on there, minus on the side, um, obviously with it switched on, um, you should be getting this read in here. Further down, on this next step, this is where mine failed. So I'd already getting, I was getting 24 volts in and I was getting nothing out. Now, at minus here, plus here, you've got two 24 volt pins, but you can check on one to there and there. And on mine, I was getting no reading. I was getting no reading at all from here, which is to the module itself. So going to going over to the module, I was getting no power here, no 24 volt readings. Um, so the motherboard itself has failed. Um, I'm already in talks with customer support with X Tools. They actually did send me out the module because at first I was getting um, I was getting a reading um, on my motherboard. So. I presume the, the chip board, the, the board inside the module was faulty. So I asked them to replace that. They sent one out, they replaced that. Um, I actually got one engraving in and then the motherboard itself died. So I still need to check the two modules at this point in time. 
and at the moment I have the main board out here. There was four screws to this, and um, this is where the gold button sits. So this sits under the frame, like this. You obviously already know because you had already connected the cables in to this um, main board. So the gold button sits there. You got your on and off switch here, and obviously turn it over to do your checks um, on your pins that you can see here these three pins there and then from the 24 volt to here to see if you're getting any output um, voltage now obviously I've checked this and this is what's faulty it's easy to take out I just had to um, undo the four bolts and loosen off one of the um, the bars for the um, for the belt now I've taken this out I'm currently now waiting on an email for an address so I can get this sent off. I'll probably have to take the SD card out as well, but I will get this sent off and get it replaced um, so I can get um, working with that machine. I'll have to start with the with the other machine to um, complete some customer orders. But yeah, if you're unsure, please go through this list here. Here's the link up top. You can just go through there, check your lens, really simple. That part's really easy to do. Check the air nozzle if you have air assist. Um, that itself is really easy. The check, the firmware version is very easy. You can check that on your um, Xtools software page. Um, check the voltage readings. Obviously you need a multimeter for this or find someone that can check it for you if you are unsure. But to check this, you need to take it out because you won't get to the points and you won't be able to check it properly. So please take this out. And then again, as it says here, if none of the above works, if you have followed the instructions above and the issues is still not resolved, please read the article in the link below. Collect the troubleshooting steps you have taken and contact Xtool Tech Support for further advice. Um, I'd already previously checked these and then contacted Xtools. Um, bit slow with the, the replies. I'd like it if it was a bit quicker, but they are getting back to me and hopefully I can get this swapped out and get it going. So again, just to recap, if your module itself is working, it's going around, it's going through the motions, you can still see, see blue light coming out, all your settings are correct. Um, and you're just getting no power hitting down onto uh, your materials, get your motherboard checked because that's probably what it is. I did see another YouTube video where he had an issue with the board inside there. Just be careful if you are gonna remove that. Um, and that's what got him sorted and fixed. But this particular case, um, from what I've been reading online, it seems to be the main board that's the issue. So please get your main boards checked if it's not engraving at its full potential. Thank you and I hope this was helpful. If it is, please like, subscribe. I will be starting some more videos. I wanna be doing some time lapses with some of um, my products and a bit more information. But as there's limited videos on the X tool and issues with it, I thought I'll just quickly do this. I know it's not great, I don't really do YouTube videos, so um, yeah, please be kind, like, subscribe, and let's get the channel a bit bigger, and maybe I can help out with a few more videos. Thank you very much, and have a nice, uh, have a nice day. Bye.